Hello tech people. This is the fourth edition of Arduino module for beginners, where we talk about some incredibly useful Arduino modules that every beginner should know about. If you are new to our channel, do check the previous videos in this series. First up, we have the motor shield. If you want to connect motors to an Arduino, this might be the easiest and safest way to do so. It plugs directly onto the Uno and has a separate power input. You can connect up to four DC motors, up to two stepper motors, or two servo motors, but not all at the same time, as some of these pins are shared. You can connect some motors at the same time, but make sure you are managing the power supply. The motor shield deserves a separate video by itself. That's why we have one. Check it out on our channel if you need more details on this shield. Next up, an LED matrix display. This module is controlled by a Mac 7219 driver, so you can control all of the 64 LED by just connecting three pins on the Arduino. You can also chain these modules to make a bigger display. This is a chain of four modules. They are great for displaying text or even some simple graphics. Next, let's talk about sound sensors. They seem pretty straightforward, but as your projects get more complicated, you will need different types of these. A basic sound sensor, like this, has a single digital output and a threshold adjustment. Depending on the sensitivity, it will output high when there is noise. That's it. It either outputs on or off. These are great for simple projects like clap sensors. This is a sound sensor with a digital and an analog output. It does what the previous module does and also outputs an analog signal according to the sound sensed. It also has a sensitivity adjustment. Even with this module, the sound output is weak for some projects, like recording audio or a spectrum analyzer. For this, we use a microphone module with an amplifier. This is a mic module with a built-in Max 4466 amplifier. It is very sensitive and picks up sound from farther away than the other modules and can be used in complicated audio projects, like this audio visualizer. <laughs> Moving on, say hello to the MQ-135 gas sensor. This module can detect a range of harmful gases like ammonia, sulfide, benzene steam, and is also sensitive to smoke and other harmful gases. If you're interested in environmental monitoring or safety projects, this sensor is a must-have. Imagine creating a device to warn you about poor air quality in your home. Now here's something that might spark your interest, the flame sensor. It is used to detect fire or flame or other light sources of the wavelength in the range of 760 nanometers to 1100 nanometer. Due to its black epoxy, the sensor is sensitive to infrared radiation that is radiated from fires. When the sensor detects flame, the signal LED will light up and the DO pin goes low. Perfect for fire detection systems and safety projects in homes or workshops. Next is a water depth sensor. It is a simple module that measures water levels using a series of parallel exposed traces. The sensor is an analog type and produces analog output signals according to the level of the water. So here we have an LED that changes color according to the water level. Great for projects involving aquariums or even environmental studies. Next up, an RGB color sensor module. It can detect colors and returns the red, green, and blue values. This can be used in a variety of projects. For example, you could build a sorting system that automatically separates colored items. This is a project where colors are read and used in a web server. The possibilities are endless. Lastly, let's not forget about wireless communication. The NRF24 Long Range Module. It is a compact 2.4G wireless transceiver module, which is fantastic for long distance communication between Arduino boards. Without an antenna, it can transmit to around 100 meters. I have one module on this breadboard and another one on this joystick shield that has a built-in slot for it. This is a perfect setup to make remote-controlled projects. So there you have it. 
Seven useful Arduino modules to kickstart your project building journey. If you found this list helpful, check out the other videos in the series. And let me know in the comments which module you're most excited to work with.